Good evening. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, the Consul General for Israel and Mrs. Ramin, Rabbi Pinchas Lipner and Mrs. Lipner, the Chief Rabbi of Antwerp, Rabbi Kreisbert, Rabbis, the senior guest sitting here on the head table, ladies and gentlemen. I would like first to thank you, Rabbi Lipner, for inviting me here. You know Rabbi Lipner, when he came to see me in Jerusalem, I knew that I could not resist. <laughs> who can resist a rabbi and who can resist Rabbi Lipner, especially? <laughs> So during those days or weeks or months since I saw Rabbi Lipner, I had several telephone calls from Rabbi Lipner asking if I really going to come here. <laughs> Rabbi, you are underestimating your strengths. <laughs> I would not have dared not to come. <laughs> It's not an easy thing to speak after rabbis. You, are, you know so much, <coughs> myself being a farmer, how can I speak after a rabbi? You know? <laughs> but I should admit, rabbi, I hope I'm not going to offend you, but uh, when I was listening, to those songs by those Jewish children. I felt that I don't know if I'll be able to add something. What one can add when he sees those children here in San Francisco, and we know the atmosphere in San Francisco, standing there in front of us, and singing Israeli songs. Myself, I whispered at the rabbi ear, and I asked if it would be possible to hear some more songs. But the children disappeared. <laughs> I hope they are learning some Torah now, rabbi. <laughs> <laughs> Being here for uh, several hours, I was uh, hearing the shouts of the people downstairs, I don't know if I may call them a mob downstairs in the street, the demonstrators in the street. I should admit I don't pay too much attention, too much attention to those uh, Arabs, their supporters, those anti-Semites that joined them, the Jewish people during our long existence of 3,700 years managed to overcome much more serious things than that group of people that were shouting there. But there were still two things which I believe we have to take very seriously. One, what the people were saying there.
that new continuation of a new blood libel, the greatest lie that has been ever told about us in Israel, we the Jews, being murderers. I must admit that as a Jew, I don't feel that I owe anything to anyone in this world. And I feel and I'm completely convinced that the rest of the world offers us, the Jews, so many things. But still,